Because he's part three. Um, anyways, Glenn really hates that dress. When he was going through and taking it all out, it was his least favorite. And then the other day he told me, like, the other ones he could deal with if I chose those. And, you know, because he doesn't want me to be happy with the dress. He's all but that one. Just He just hates. Like, the other ones are all right. He just likes other ones more or whatever. But he hates this one. So... That's kind of bad, but I'm still keeping it because there's something that's making me hold on to it. Um, so there, so that was number nine. Um, dress number ten. All right, so dresses ten, eleven, and twelve are the three new ones I picked out, and I've gotten rid of number ten. Uh, number ten uh, was an A-line halter with a Castilian train. It was satin, three hundred and four dollars. Um. I don't know. I love the front of it. It was a um, halter, and it was actually shaped a lot like this, um, what I'm wearing right now. Uh, it was shaped a lot like that. It had, it was really pretty, had some beads on it, but not a lot. Uh, I really liked it. The front was gorgeous, and when I um, put it in my bookmark, I don't know why, but I didn't look at the back. And so the front was gorgeous. I love the front of the um, skirt as well. And when I turned it around, um, the back of the bodice was really ugly. It was like a zip up, but it was um, like puckered kind of. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't have, like, I don't know, you know, like if this was, <laughs> this is a dollar bill. <laughs> Um, you know, if you're seeing, like, somebody, there's their back, or whatever, usually you don't see the thing, but it was, the zipper part was, like, puckered, like that, and it was kind of ugly, I don't know how to, but, um, you can see it if you go look, uh, and then also, I don't know what a Castilian train was, I don't know any of the trains, like, what they're called, why they're called, because I've seen a whole bunch of different chapel trains throughout this site, and they all look different to me. I did look at the Castilian train, and finally, through a couple pages of Google, I found out that Castilian trains are usually, I think I'm saying that right, are usually between three and a half, or, yeah, between three and a half to four yards long, and that was insane, that's, like, there's three yards in a, or oh, three yards, three feet per yard, so that's like nine to twelve feet long, now, it starts at your waist, so it's not like 12 past your feet, but still that's really, that's huge, you know, like the other one I think is big, and this one's bigger than that one, and it had really kind of ugly embroidery on the train, so I didn't get rid of that one. Um, dress 11 and 12, I don't know, like I kind of want to get rid of both of them, and then I kind of want to keep both of them. Um, they are both called the same thing. Uh, A-line strapless with beaded embroidery, and they're made of satin. Uh, 11 is 273, and 12 is 239. Um, 11, they only have a back view, and the back is gorgeous, like, it's this really simple, very elegant, and satiny, and it's just exciting, and you don't really, you see a little bit of, um, beads and embroidery on the bodice and the back, but nothing on the, really on the train. It does look kind of like a big train because she's standing up against the wall in the back, and you can't see where it ends. So, uh, that's kind of weird. But, um, so yeah, and you can't see the front, and I'm worried about what happens if I hate the front. Like, I'm like, oh, I love it, but I can't see the front, so I don't want to order it. And it has a zip up, so that's kind of poopy. Um, dress 12, you can only see the front. Um, and it has, like, a really pretty front, really simple. And I thought maybe it was the same dress, and just, like, accidentally put, kind of screwed, but they're two different prices. But if the front of dress 11 looked like that, or the back of dress, 12 look like 11, then it'd be awesome, but I don't know that for sure, and I don't like not knowing what the other side looks like, I wouldn't want to take 11 because the back's awesome, and then the front have, like, a huge bow or something, you know, so, 
And it didn't have any description. Neither of them had descriptions. Uh, just like, oh, this is a dress from this store, blah, blah, blah. So that didn't even tell me anything. So I don't, I don't know. I think I might get rid of 11 and 12. But for now, they're on my list. Um, maybe because getting rid of 5 was already kind of bad. So <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of 7. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is that. Um, I have been looking more through the accessory websites and stuff, but I haven't looked at them all yet, and I need to make some notes, and I will make that video probably when I come back. Um, if I get bored or have like a random time where I'm like, hey, this is a good time to make a vlog, I might make one next week before I go, but no promises. And, um, I hope you like this one. I was all proud of myself because I just sat down and I was like, I'm going to get rid of some dresses. And I thought at most I'd be able to get rid of, like, two or three. And then when I got rid of five, it was exciting. And, I mean, exciting and sad because even the ones I got rid of, I, there was things I liked about them. But I think I've made the right choices. So, um, the Kiss My Melinda offers... Um, the rush delivery, which is 14 days and 45 bucks more. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but, um, the regular delivery is about 28 days. So if I order it in April, I won't get it to May. And I'm not thinking about ordering it until the end of April, which means I won't get it to, like, the end of May. So I'm kind of worried about that, but I don't, I've looked through other review sites and people seem to have good luck with it um so i'm hopeful i won't have to send it back or whatever all right well thank you for watching and i will see you guys definitely two weeks from now so bye